beginning of, of the the work is basically the photograph. I'm taking a series of photographs. I've probably got hundreds and hundreds of photographs of clouds, say. Um, I started out doing still lives initially. Um, my paintings now are more landscapes. I think I, I would call them landscapes or ski seascapes. My little they, bit of abstract stuff that I did. In fact, I think I did this after I did a series of abstract, small abstract paintings, which I don't have here. I've got them hanging in a show, but um, I wanted to just, you know, I wanted the, the sky and the ocean. You know how sometimes you look out at the ocean and the ocean and the sky become one? But I also have been doing some encaustic, which is uh, painting with wax. It's an ancient medium that uh, the, the early Greeks um, discovered how to do this. They would mix probably some sort of vegetable matter in a wax, heat it over a building fire, and then paint their ships and, 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 some, and some paintings, paint some portraiture using uh, this medium Too much. because then, when you fuse it you get a blend of color. I wanted the color to stay on the top so I haven't really fused this and I got this wonderful texture from just layering this wax and the different colors of water. Water is not just all blue it's greens and blues and dark colors and well I think I'm different from other pastel artists probably in the way I work. I think every artist works, has, finds her own or his own way of working. Um, I like to spend about three or four hour, hours at a time, just focus time in the studio. And I might then take a break and come back for a little while, maybe another hour or so. Um, but I think it takes almost that long to get into the rhythm of painting and sometimes the first hour is just kind of, I don't know, you're choosing, you know, if you pre-select your palette, you're choosing what you want to use, you're figuring out how large the painting's going to be, you're trying to decide whether you're going to crop the photo a little bit or lay out the composition. I started out as an oil painter. I focused in oil painting when I was going to school at Sonoma State. Uh, that was my major. And, um, and I painted with oils for a number of years until I just stopped painting altogether. And I took a, a hi hiatus from painting about, well, I would say at least 20 years where I wasn't doing much. Maybe I would take a, a class every now and then, a drawing class or something just to kind of, you know, get the juices flowing. But I had a family. I worked full time in, in San Francisco. Um, it's not a seascape. It's totally di different than a seascape. These, these are some of the things that I've been doing lately. In it fact, became my painting rather than his photograph. But this was the inspiration, this wonderful uh, sort of sepia. Uh, there's this orangey color on top. There's kind of a, an in-between melon orange that's got some dark underneath it. And I like to play with that dark light thing. I think that that really adds dimension to the painting, for one thing. I think art is important. I think art um, enriches our lives. I, I think it's important for people to find something that they really love to do and are passionate about it. So for me, yes, I think it's very important. I th yeah, I think art is extremely important. Uh, I mean, look at all the cultures as far back as when time began. The, the, perhaps it was the shamans that were doing the art, but it's always been a part of culture, a part of people's lives. And, um, and, I, and I'm hoping it will be forever. I, you know, I... I uh, I would encourage everyone to find the artist in themselves for, for what, whatever way they want to express that art.